Welcome everybody to another edition of Monsters OT presented by University Hospital Sports Medicine here on Valley Sports Great Lakes. Tony Brown back here with you and as the 2021-22 AHL season is winding down we've got a big show for you. As always we'll begin with headlines then we've got a couple of special closer looks at a couple of recent awesome initiatives that the Monsters participated in. Cleveland in conjunction with Adaptive Sports Ohio teamed up to debut the all new Monsters sled hockey team so we'll take a look at that. Also uh, a local six year old signed to a one day contract by the Monsters through the Special Wish Foundation here in Northeast Ohio. We'll take a close look at Harper Christner's story as she joined the Monsters here recently for a game at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We'll cap things off as usual with our Monsters memory segments, but as always, we start with headlines. Well, we thought we would start on headlines today with a little bit of a wrap up for the 21-22 season for the Monsters. Based on when we're recording this, there's still a couple of games left on the regular season schedule, but before you know it, it'll be on into the summer and preparing for the 22-23 season. So as we wrap up the year for the Monsters, Cleveland uh, had kind of a tough go this season in seventh place in the North Division standings since really the end of January out through the end of the year. But let's take a look at some of the guys who led the way for the Monsters this season. And offensively, that starts with Jake Christensen. If there would have been an American League All-Star game this year, I think he's a shoe-in to have represented the Monsters. He, as of now, leads all AHL defensemen with 13 goals this season, leads all Monsters players with 43 points, and he has been the catalyst offensively for the Monsters at five on five and on the power play in all situations this season. A great year uh, in his second season in the professional ranks for Christensen, a guy who also scored his first NHL goal this season and got called up to the Blue Jackets a couple of different times, spent some time at hockey's highest level, and has a great chance to try and make the Jackets out of training camp next year based on the season he put together here in Cleveland. Let's take a look at the leading goal scorers for the Monsters this year. Two guys are currently up with the Blue Jackets, Gauntz and Carson Meyer. Meyer, by the way, recently a Columbus area native, scored his first NHL goal for the Jackets too. That was awesome to see, but those two guys scored 16 goals this year, Gauntz and Meyer in a Monsters uniform, and followed closely uh, uh, is Justin Scott with 15 goals this season, a single season career high for him this year in terms of goals and points. He has been a really important player for the Monsters. Early in the season, of course, he had a very memorable uh, game in Toronto where he set the all-time games played record for the Monsters franchise. Uh, so a big memorable season for him. And uh, he scored recently against Utica at a Monsters home game at the Fieldhouse and passed Ryan Stoa with that goal for fourth place on the Monsters all-time goal scoring list, his 55th goal in a Monsters uniform in his career. So those guys have all been important to Cleveland this year. Let's also take a look inside the goal crease. This season, the Monsters utilized five goaltenders and uh, you know, really at the start of the season, probably didn't expect to see five different guys in the crease. What with Daniil Tarasov expected to put together a great year and of course J.F. Berube's presence. But with Tarasov getting hurt at midseason, Berube was called up uh, by the Blue Jackets, has spent a good chunk of the second half of the year up with them. So Jet Greaves, really the beneficiary of Berube's absence, he appeared in a team leading 27 games in net for the Monsters, uh, at least to this point in the season. Cam Johnson and Berube each with 19 appearances. Then you've got young Lyndon Martin Marshall, who uh, got into a couple of games too. Tarasov played 11 games for Cleveland this year. So all those guys contributed. It takes everybody in the goal crease to get the job done. And the Monsters certainly reached out in a number of different directions in that department this year. Finally on headlines, just want to round up for you the playoff picture in the American Hockey League here as we get to the end of the regular season. Let's go division by division. Right now in the Atlantic Division, Providence, Charlotte, and Springfield have all clinched playoff spots. Three Calder Cup playoff berths remain in that division. Then on the north side of things, uh, Utica just beat the Monsters on home ice on the 20th of April, and with that win, they claimed the North Division title. Uh, Utica, though, is the only team in the North Division that has yet to clinch their spot in the Calder Cup playoffs, so it is very tight the rest of the way for the four remaining playoff spots in the North Division. In the Central, the Chicago Wolves have been one of the best teams in the league all year. They have clinched the Central Division crown. Manitoba and Milwaukee have also punched their ticket to the postseason, but two 
two spots are left up for grabs in the Central between four teams, Rockford, Iowa, Texas, and Grand Rapids. And out west in the Pacific, it's all settled. Stockton, Ontario, Abbotsford, Colorado, Bakersfield, Henderson, and San Diego have all qualified for the playoffs. So that will be the playoff field in the Pacific Division. The only question is, who will take the title and take that Pacific Division championship? So that's it for headlines. We'll take a break now on Monsters OT. When we come back, though, Really awesome project the Monsters have been working on with the folks at Adaptive Sports Ohio. We will take a closer look at the all-new Cleveland Monsters sled hockey team. That's next. You're watching Monsters OT, presented by University Hospital Sports Medicine, only here on Bally Sports Great Lakes. Monsters OT is presented in part by PropSwap. The NBA playoffs are set, and PropSwap is the best place to turn the hardwood into cold, hard cash. PropSwap is the only app that allows you to pick your favorite teams, then sell your bets whenever you want. Go to PropSwap.com or download the free PropSwap app today. Welcome back to Monsters OT, everybody. We're presented by University Hospital Sports Medicine here on Valley Sports. Great Lakes. So uh, we wanted to take a minute here on the show to highlight what is a really cool project the Monsters have been working on recently in conjunction with the fine folks at Adaptive Sports Ohio. Monsters have always tried to grow the game here in Northeast Ohio, and they're doing so through an all-new venture, the Cleveland Monsters Sled Hockey Team. Let's take a look. At Adaptive Sports Ohio, what we do is remove barriers to ensure that people with physical disabilities have a chance to play. And through participation, we elevate their ability and empower futures. We wanted to bring the sport to Cleveland, offer people in the, the greater Cleveland area an opportunity to play sled hockey. And we reached out to the Monsters and they were eager and excited to work with us to get something established. As part of our organization's mission, we want to grow the game of hockey, and uh, that doesn't just stop with the, you know traditional ice hockey. That that reaches all folks, and, and so for individuals with disabilities to be able to get out on the ice and play here at our training facility is a really unique opportunity. And uh, these kids are really good. I think uh, our players would struggle to keep up with some of them. There's definitely a unique skill set that's needed for sled hockey, so it, it's pretty cool to watch. It's awesome because it gives people with physical disabilities a chance to play the sport of hockey and, and fall in love with it. The ability to wear a jersey that says the Cleveland Monsters is so exciting because we have a lot of our, our athletes and our individuals that are here with us today that love the Monsters, they follow the Monsters, they come to the Monsters game, and to be able to play sport their way and wear the jersey means a lot to them. We're hoping that this partnership between the Monsters and Adaptive Sports Ohio um, kind of lifts up the great work that they're already doing, but we can't wait to see this program uh, you know, continue to grow. Our hope is that more kids are going to realize they have the opportunity to play sled hockey and uh, you know, just shines a light on, on uh, what's possible for these uh, folks with uh, disabilities. Tip a canoe, Lima. Wapo Wapo Kaneta. Wapo Kanata. Wapo Kaneta. Wapa Kanita. That's definitely wrong. Wapa Kanita. Wapo Kanita. Wapo Can Eta. Wapo Kaneta. Oh boy. Madden Hutton. Madden Hutton. God, Godden Hutton. Nadden Nutton. Nadden Hutton. Nadden Hutton. 
Naden Hutton. Naden Hutton. The Timelessly Tall Tales of Sully. The year was 1903. Hearing of the Wright brothers' quest for flight, Sully offers to lend his ornithological expertise. Unfortunately, he was not much help, but he was there to celebrate their historical first flight and soon become the world's first collector of frequent flyer miles. And now you know one of the many timelessly tall tales of Sully. Welcome back, everyone, to Monsters OT, presented by University Hospital Sports Medicine here on Valley Sports Great Lakes. Well, we are really excited to share with you a very special story made possible by the Special Wish Foundation here in Northeast Ohio. Recently, on the 14th of April, young Harper Christner, on her sixth birthday, no less, inspired by her brother Chase to play hockey, actually signed a one-day contract with the Monsters. It was an amazing day that we got to share with Harper and her family. So let's check out a very special wish that the Monsters helped make come true. Oh, oh. these hey, are all Monsters hey, players. Hey, Chase, how you doing? <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> it's my frozen. <laughs> oh my gosh, honey. We got you all decked out with frozen gear. Oh. This awesome monster sweater. <laughs> uh, this is too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> When's your birthday? Uh, April 14th. Oh, coming up. Yeah. Excited? Yeah. I'm going to have a Moana one. Moana, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to race back. Down there? Down there. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. Oh. I did it! Oh, no. One more time. Push it. Get it in there. <laughs> yeah. Go! We're going right at daddy. One, two, three, two. Harper, we have your contract right here. <laughs> Do you want me to read it to everybody? Can we read it out loud? Yeah. So it's from the team, the Cleveland Monsters. Yeah. And yourself, Harper. And the Cleveland Monsters agree to employ Harper Christner as a skilled hockey player. And the player agrees to be employed by the Monsters on the same terms and conditions as contained in the following American Hockey League standard player contract. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The Cleveland Monsters agree to pay Harper Christner for the remainder of the 21-22 season, beginning on this date, April 14th, which is your birthday, and a salary of one dollar. <laughs> Here, I'll sign it first. All right, then Coach Eves. I get to sign it too. Yep. All righty. Right here. And then there's one spot left for you, young lady. Right there. Ta da! There it is. <laughs> here, hold that so everybody can see. Uh, so, if anyone out there has a question, throw your hand up. There we go. Here's one. Harper, what is your nickname that the team can call you? I'm fast. <laughs> 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 Here's a question. Uh, What's your favorite thing about skating? Um, I, shoot I, the puck. Shoot the puck. Yeah. yeah. Is it done? <laughs> <laughs> See you on the ice, okay? Mm -hmm. You 
have fun up there. Yeah. All right. to tonight's roster. Harper Christner developed her love of hockey while watching her brother Chase play, and despite being diagnosed with polyostonic fibrous dysplasia, and thanks to Cleveland Monsters sled hockey through Adaptive Sports Ohio, she was able to skate in a private practice in her very own sled. Help us welcome Harper, Chase, Starcy, and Ray Christner to the Monsters family. Well, how fun and how cool was that? Harper was an absolute blast to be around during her time with the Monsters. We hope to see her and her amazing family back at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse plenty next season and beyond. And thanks again to a Special Wish Foundation for making that special day possible for Harper. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we wrap up Monsters OT with, as always, our Monsters Memory segment. That's next, presented by University Hospital Sports Medicine. This is Monsters OT on Bally Sports Great Lakes. The Timeless Sleet Tall Tales of Sully. The year was 1931. Sully and his crew were hard at work constructing the Empire State Building. But oh golly, the gang forgot their lunches all the way downstairs. It's Sully to the rescue. Our big feathered friend swooped down and returned with the fuel required to complete a hard day's work after a much needed nap. And now you know one of the many timelessly tall tales of Sully. I played a lot of games at Bill Hunter Arena back in Edmonton. That's where most of my uh, minor hockey was played, so I have a special place in my heart for that arena. It was the end of the game at overtime, and it was three on three, and I thought I could saucer it through the middle of the ice, and a guy picked it up off, uh, out of midair and ended up ending the game, so that one, that one stings. My number one bucket list uh, item for hockey would for sure be winning the Stanley Cup. I think that's everyone's goal that plays hockey, so you know I'm just going to keep grinding um, my whole career and hopefully win a Stanley Cup. Um, the most important life lesson is not to let the highs get too high and not to let the lows get too low. There's always another day. It's a fresh start, so just start again and um, be strong every day. We are back one more time on Monsters OT, presented by University Hospital Sports Medicine here on Valley Sports Great Lakes. Just time for our Monsters Memory segment. Before we do that, though, a lot of thank yous to hand out for this uh, show. We want to say thanks to a special Wish Foundation, of course, to Harper Christner and her family, to the fine folks at Adaptive Sports Ohio, and as always, for our tremendous crew here with Fieldhouse Creative at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for making this show possible. Let's cap off now the Monsters 15th anniversary season in the AHL. It's almost over and done with, with some sights and sounds from a year to remember back to normal at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. We'll see you next time on Monsters OT. Oh.
hard hit there. Please welcome home, Oscar T position. Sunshine in my life. I love your smile, I love your mind. I love the sparkles in your life. No matter what your race or sexual orientation, gender is, I mean, if you can play, you can play. And the Cleveland Monsters agreed to employ Harper Christner as a skilled hockey player. Ta -da! Monsters by a nose, guys. Come say hi.